Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with the update on the Z28. Everything's going together as planned. Got the dash in it. How it's supposed to look. Got the headliner in the thing. We'll cut some wrinkle spots in it, but I'll work on that. And I got the door panels in it. So far, so good. Everything takes time. Brand new door panels. Everything's been refurbished or replaced. Got the back window in it. And, and I got the package tray put in there. I got my speaker holes drilled. So I got to get my speaker covers painted. But, door shut tonight. Got the radiator support all put in and installed. And you can see I got the fire brick booster put in. Some cables. My heater box is all done. Got all the original markings. This had a 19 over there for a code 19, and it had two, not one, but two crayon Z28s across the dash. Or the cow looks like somebody put one under the heater box and they decided they're going to put one over there. So that was, uh, I like adding those little things back on the car when they're done. Quick stripe was all one piece. Well, that was a bummer. Whew. That was fun. So, the passenger side got all the stripes on it. I got to hit the back. I got to get it off the rotisserie before I can do anything else to it. Put a windshield in it, and that's about it. And then it's time to start doing the front subframe. That's that big piece over here. And the rear end just bolts in with two leaf springs. Underneath. And there it is. Show underneath the car. It's all done and clear coated. Everything's ready to roll. So, yeah, I got my tail lights in. This is the reason why that's a rotisserie. It's so close back there. I can't, uh, I can't even get the trunk shut. So I, uh, I'll get the stripes because there's stripes that go here across the trunk and the taillights and rear bumper will all go on after it's off the rotisserie and back on its wheels. So now I'm torn between a motor. This thing, I voided the warranty in this thing when it was about six months old. Because I put an LT1, 70 Corvette LT1 in it. It was like 370 horse, all lift the cam. It was a crazy motor. And I have that engine. But I do have a stock 350. That I could throw in it. Just to kind of drive around and enjoy it. But then again, I don't know. Let's see what I feel like when I get done. It would be cool to throw that old LT1 in it. Because I did find a replacement decal uh, that voided my warranty. <laughs> Actually, they sold them on eBay. I found one. I was really surprised. So, I think I'll, uh, yeah, we'll put the LT1 in it and put that thing back on the, on the front uh, radiator support next to the emission sticker. Got all brand new side windows and stuff in it. I bought them years ago. Couldn't find them. And the air induction hood got a little flat back there. When you step on the gas pedal, that pops open. Pretty cool. Scares the shit out of you because there's a big snapping sound. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yo. That's the update for today. Next will be carpet, windshield fuel tank um, 
I ordered all my uh, tires and all the center caps and all that stuff for it. And uh, a fuel tank sender. Believe it or not, I couldn't get one of them things. Everybody had to call their mom or something to go get me one, and it was just ridiculous. So I got on eBay and grabbed one for half the money everybody wanted for theirs. So, anywho, I'm going to go home. I am beat. Like, share, subscribe if you want. Tell your friends. And I'll be back again with another update. And after this gets back on the ground, we're going to do some more RC videos because I've been itching. I got a few things there in mind cooking I want to do, and we'll see how she goes. Adios.